Hey everybody, in today's video I'm going to show you how you can add checkboxes easily in Microsoft Excel and how you can use them to build formulas based on those checkboxes and also how you can add date stamps that are static and don't change. So in this example I've got a list of order numbers and I want to uh, add checkboxes to indicate whether they've been received or not and then based on that create a formula to say if it was received and when it was received. So in Excel, if we go to the insert tab, there's a new option, which is under cell controls for a checkbox to add that in there. Now, if you don't see this on your version of Excel, make sure you're running Office 365 and also um, make sure you sign up for the Office Insiders program if you don't see it, because by doing that, you'll have access to the latest Excel features even before they roll out to um, the general public. So if you don't see that, that's probably just that it hasn't rolled out yet. But again, you sign up for the Insiders program and then that's free. You can have access to the latest features. So assuming you do have access to that, then it's just a matter of selecting the cells that you want to check boxes to, hit the checkbox option, simple enough, right? So it's a really easy uh, way to add checkboxes. And then you know, if you click on the click on any of these values, then they're going to be set to true. So if I wanted to say whether it was received or not, I could just do a simple if statement, say, say if that, then basically it's going to say received or not received. Now, I'm not putting any condition like B2 equals true because if it's checked off, it's true, right? So that's going to tell me whether that argument what that condition is met or not. So if I hit enter, we can see it says received. If I copy this down, we can see not received. And as I check the boxes received, they update, right? So a really simple way that you could structure formulas using that, that checkbox item. But let's go a step further. And let's see, we wanna add some, some timestamps in here um, to know exactly when it was received. And most importantly, we wanna make sure that those timestamps do not change. So I'm going to show you how we can do that. So for starters, again, I'm going to go back to the if statement here and selecting my, my checkbox value. And then, okay, it's going to check that that logical test is checking if it's true. If it's true, then it's going to evaluate um, the, next, the, next, uh, the next condition. So I'm going to say if C2, which is the current cell that I'm on, is equal to nothing, in other words, it's blank. Then I'm going to insert the current time using the now function. And then if it's false, as in something's already in this in this value in cell C2, I'm going to leave it as C2. Okay. And then if it's not checked off, if it hasn't been received, the value is going to be blank. So this is a bit of a problematic formula at first glance because this is creating a circular reference, right? I'm referencing C2 and I'm actually on C2. So if I hit on enter, you know, it's going to tell me there is circular reference. So I'm going to hit okay. So right now it's not working properly. So what I'm going to need to do is go into the Excel options. So if I go to file and options, then under formulas, I can enable iterative calculations. I'll just leave the default as, as it is. And then I hit OK. And now let's go back to this. Now I'm gonna uncheck this and now check it off. And now we've got a value in here. So now it's just a matter of formatting it um, to how I want it. So I can uh, select the time, right? So this is the current time as I'm doing this. And now, so these other values, I have not copied in this formula down, but if I copy this, so initially I wanna make sure these are all unchecked. And now if I check this off, we can see that this, this value has not changed, even though we've got that now function in there, which captures the current date and time, it's not overriding the value that's already there. Because we've got this circular reference, it is working. And because we've got the iterative calculation set up, it's not overriding the value, it's not causing any issues. So this timestamp is separate from this one. It's not overriding anything. If I click another box, you know, now we can see the, the timestamp as of now. So by, by doing it this way, by creating that if statement so that it looks at the current cell, it's able to determine, okay, if there's something, 
If there's nothing in there, then we put in the current date and time. Otherwise, we leave the value that's in there. And the way we can make this work is by enabling those iterative calculations. Now, the key thing to, to keep in mind is just with the iterative calculations, you just want to be careful with that because if you enable that on your spreadsheet, you know, other calculations may not be um, working properly. So just suddenly keep in mind if you do notice some of your calculations, um, especially if you've got a complex spreadsheet where you're doing a lot of calculations and something's not computing properly, just check for that. But as long as, you know, you're aware that, you know, you've got iterative calculations um, set up and you have a and you're allowing for circular references, then, then you should be fine, especially if you just got a simple spreadsheet like this where you just want to track um, that, uh, dates and when something was received or not or, or shipped, whatever the case may be, where you want to track date stamps, then it, it can work just fine. It's just if you're dealing with a really uh, larger, more complex spreadsheet where you've got a lot of calculations, you may not want to uh, turn on those iterative calculations, but by, by doing it, you know, you have the flexibility now to create circular references that work and that can lock in these date stamps. Because without this, you know, if we use the now function, then it's always going to override with the current date. And that's one of the big problems is that, you know, even if you check it, check a box because you're using that now function, it's going to override and every value is going to have the same date. But because we've got circular references, if I click on another value, you can see all these timestamps remain intact. And it's not affecting our, our calculations. Now, if you want to, you can also add the date in here as well. And it, that's just a matter of formatting because right now I've got these, so it just has um, the, the time. But if I right click format cells, and then if I go to the number formatting under custom, you can see there's a lot of um, ways I can do it. I could month, day, year, then hour, minutes, right? So a lot of different ways as to how you want to format it so if you just want to show the hours you can show the hours you can show the date as well or just the date then it's just a matter of how you want to format it because the now function includes the current date and time so you can show the you can just show the day you can show the time or you can show both at that point it's just a matter of formatting but as you can see with the check boxes it's really easy to set this up and all you have to do is just make sure you've got those iterative calculations set up the circular reference. And again, if you don't see the option to insert checkboxes from the insert, uh, insert tab, just make sure you have the latest version of um, Excel and you've got the access to the Insider program just to make sure you've got those latest updates as well. So that's a wrap on how to add checkboxes in Excel and how to insert timestamps as well. So if you like this video, please leave a like and make sure to subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.